Hi everyone, my name is Alex and I'm going to be your instructor for the art program in tandem with uh, Westbury Art Summer Camp. So I hope you're all doing well, I hope you've all been staying healthy, I've been washing your hands, you know, social distancing, that whole stuff. Uh, so for the first week, we are actually going to be working on a cool project based on an artist that I really like. Uh, but first, let's go over the materials that we're going to need. So first up. We are going to be needing newsprint paper, which is this lightweight gray paper, which should be right next to your watercolor paper. You should have about seven of these sheets in your in your folders. Let's see, what else are we going to need? We're going to need our crayons. We're going to be needing our watercolor palettes. The ones that you have are a lot nicer than, I, than mine. They're actually kind of like thinner, smaller, and they have like a blue underside. Let's see. You're also going to be needing your pencils. You're gonna be needing a brush. You should have a, a, a quite a few in your bag. Let's see, what else are you gonna need? You're actually gonna be needing a cup with water for your watercolors. And you're also going to be needing a paper towel just to wipe your brush whenever you're finished using it or when you're trying to clean it so that you can use another color. So I've been really excited to start teaching and I hope you all feel similarly. So yeah, let's get started on what I will be covering. So. I want us all to get used to the idea of talking about ourselves and making work that rest best represents our values. Uh, values are things that are important to us, and also when you value something, it's important to you. Uh, they can be objects, peoples, ideas. Uh, you could value a book, you could value a person, you could value the planet. You know, you can value pretty much just about anything. Uh, if it is important to you, it has value. So I'm going to introduce you to an artist called Nate Williams. Uh, he's known for his very bright and fun and bold work that uses a lot of shapes and colors and fun imagery. And uh, I want us to focus on one specific project of his, which is this one. Now when you look at it, you'll notice first that it's a portrait. A portrait is basically just a picture of a person. A self-portrait is a picture of oneself. So in these portraits, we see what looks like a person, right? There's the eye, the shape of the nose, the hair, and the lips. And within these portraits, we can see that some words have been drawn inside of the portraits. Words like caring, music, economics, history. See, all of these words represent values. So to start us off, we are going to need our sheet of newsprint paper and a pencil. So I'm going to start by asking you all to write things that you value. They can be things like family, art, music, sports, Kindness, competition, jokes, movies, cars, technology, animals, the beach, anything. Just think of the things that you care about and write them down on your sheet of newsprint. Next on the same paper, draw three of the things that you value. For example, if you value food, draw some food. If you value family, draw family. If you value animals, draw your favorite animal. So because I really value the planet, the arts, and my community, I chose to draw these three things on my newsprint. Now that we have our list uh, filled with our values and our drawings, we are going to move on to the watercolor paper where we are going to draw our own portraits, uh, preferably the self-portraits, and uh, we are going to be writing down the words that we wrote on the newsprint onto our own portraits, and we're going to be including the drawings on our portraits as well. So to start us off, we're first going to draw the head. Uh, make sure that you fill up the entire page actually so you know make make a nice big round oval and make sure you leave enough room at the bottom because you're eventually actually gonna start uh, adding clothes so what you're gonna go in with now is you're gonna start with the nose uh, that's my nose I think I have a pretty big nose and um, you're gonna draw your eyes you're gonna draw your eyebrows I have pretty like triangular eyebrows but you can draw whatever eyebrows you want um, next you're gonna go in with your lips um, when we saw it in, 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 in Williams' work, it was really just like a line across the face, but if you want to add the lips, then that's fine, along with the line, of course, to add like a nice smile. Next, you're going to go in with the actual clothing. Um, I'm a pretty big uh, polo guy, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start drawing in my polo. Uh, first, I'm going to probably start, let's see, with... Um, definitely my collar I, I think that's the easier part so just drawing that collar right there then I'm gonna go in and draw the button then it's the other collar there and remember you can pretty much just draw whatever kind of clothing you want like say if you wanted to draw uh, you know a t-shirt a cool dress a cool jacket 
you know, with patterns or without patterns, you know, like with circles, stripes, all of that. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty, you know, I, I like I like just playing colors like that, and uh, it'll definitely be fun when I go in with color later. Uh, next, you're gonna actually go in and start drawing in the lines uh, within your portrait, and make sure you draw about let's see uh i think i'm gonna draw about one two three four five six seven eight maybe like eight or nine lines and and you can even do this cool thing where you kind of like section off parts of yourself like you know like how i did with the eye and yeah yeah just draw as many lines as you feel but make sure make sure that these lines are wide enough for you to actually fit words into because we are going to be putting words into them later Let's see, then I'll do that. Okay. And now what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be taking the sheet that you had earlier, the uh, the newsprint, with all the words that you wrote earlier. And you're actually just going to have it next to you. Uh, now you're going to be drawing in the, the little, uh, the three things that you drew that were basically your values, things that you valued. Uh, in this case, I valued the planet, I valued art, and I valued community. So... At this point, what you can do is you, you can start adding these things around your portrait just like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to draw the planet right up here. It's <laughs> it's not uh, geographically correct, but I hope you get my drift. Next, I'm going to go with uh, my community. I'm going to draw it right here. There's a nice spot right here. Um, Again, you can draw pretty much whatever you want. Uh, remember, the point is that you're drawing things that are really important to you. And um, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm still going to, you know, just do what I can. I'm going to add that little tree in the back and definitely add a house eventually. if it can fit <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect but again the goal is to make sure that you include as many things as possible that reflect who you are and what you like and lastly I'm gonna be drawing uh, let's see am I gonna fit this I guess just you know a nice canvas right next to the head nothing crazy eventually I'll draw the, the paintbrush as well um, Probably not next to it this time, but it's still going to be a great portrait, I believe it. Next, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your newsprint paper again. And remember all the words you wrote down? Well, now you're going to be putting them into your portrait. So I'm going to start with history at the very top. And, and you know... Make sure you draw light because maybe you might regret like uh, putting things in somewhere. But, uh, you know, in, just in case you, you want to erase it or not. Um, also, don't forget to have fun with your letters. Like, you know, don't make them all the same shape or size. Make them different. Make make ones like all blocky. Make ones just line. If you're into like script, that would be cool. Or make your, just make your, your words as cool looking as possible. Uh, so in the end, you should end up with a portrait like this, uh, where we have sectioned off our head so that we can s read all of our values, and we have also included little drawings of the things that we value. For example, in my case, of course, the planet, the art, and the community. And now we are ready to start watercolor painting. So to start off, we are going to wet our brushes in our cup of water. I'm going to dry it off just a little. And then we are going to go to our color palettes and we are going to select whatever color we want. In this case, I'm going to start with some orange. And uh, you might need some a uh, little more water than you think just to make sure that you get some of the pigment. Then you're going to just start painting over each section that we created. And you can use pretty much any color you want. Uh, you know, reds, oranges, you can mix colors up. If you were worried about getting paint over your crayons, don't worry about it because, you know, you're still going to be able to see your, your letters and you're also going to be going over them with crayons later. So once your painting dries, make sure that you choose the absolute best colors to make sure to make each and every single one of the words that you wrote down really pop and uh, complement the colors that you chose for the head. 
and you can have as much fun as with this as you want uh, just make sure that you go over every single word just to make sure that they are clear and that people can see them and that they are obvious so in the end your portrait should come out to something like this uh, once you trace over the words with your crayons the word should really pop out now uh, and you can go, even go back into your clothes and start adding some of the patterns that I had mentioned earlier and in the end you should have a portrait that best expresses the value that we had expressed earlier and I really hope you enjoyed this project I know I really did and I hope that you're able to talk about yourself in a, in a in a clear and very confident way because it's really important that you're able to express yourself uh, in the best of ways every single time uh, thank you again for being a part of this I will see you next week. Be safe, be healthy, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time, bye.